previously on Lala's Full Court Life. I don't know anybody on the Knicks whose wife is considered like the first lady of, so how were the girls receiving you? I didn't meet any of them. I mean, I was speaking the truth, but I know that's just gonna probably cause some mess. You were saying that a lot of the wives haven't really accepted you yet. They haven't come up to you. Has that changed? And tonight, we should all weigh ourselves. We'll lose it before you know it. Boxing body cast Russell Simmons yoga. Blogs report that the Knicks player has an 11 month old baby by another woman in NYC. Chauncey Billups is pissed that he was included in the mellow trade and his wife is upset. I would read the stuff about like you guys being mad. But what was that whole thing about? Breakfast Club on Power 105, and I'm heading over to have sushi with Dyson Poe. So I just want to recap with them exactly what went down. Hey! What's up? How was the show? He's like, tell us everything. It was intense. What? Did they go what? in on you? You know, you go on their show, because they're yeah, going to they go in. in. But I just feel like people try to always get me to address the basketball wives thing. Uh, like, they're not going to get me to say anything bad about them, and I don't uh, even know them. You know what I mean? But it's a good show. But it's just funny how, like, you could see how it could go wrong if you just, like, oh, I yeah. You know, like, how it could all of a sudden become what? something. Yeah, and I don't want problems with anybody. The New York media, they could be really tough, and they try to stir up controversy sometimes. So besides the whole basketball wives issue, now I'm getting tons of Google alerts about Mello having a secret baby. Let the rumor mills begin now that Carmelo Anthony is in New York. Blogs report that the Knicks player has an 11-month-old baby by another woman in NYC. Let's be clear. Anybody could write an anonymous email. If there was a baby out there that happened while we were together, it's a different conversation right now. That was another great answer. Yeah. My how you've matured. Thank you. Back in the day. Don't have been like, hold my Aries pose. Don't I think when I was younger, I didn't have as much patience and tolerance. If I heard something about myself, I wanted to confront the person, find out why they said that. Now that I'm older, I'm a mom, I definitely approach the situation differently. Wow. Thank really, you. Really, really, thank you. All right, so we have uh, six crab hand rolls, crunchy, spicy tuna. It's a little chimichurri aioli on the side for dipping. Thank, oh, thank you. One thing I can say about New York, mm. it sure can put the pounds on you. <laughs> So all these Google alerts, basketball wives, secret baby, it can be stressful because it's unnecessary drama that I really don't need right now. And when I get stressed, like most women out there, I have a tendency to eat. We should work out. Mm-hmm. We was in LA, we were on a grind. Come out here, it's like a gym, what gym? It's a whole different world out here. We're like, yeah. what restaurant? When we get back to the hotel, what? we should all weigh ourselves. Why would we do that to ourselves? I know I got to lose weight. Why I don't, don't no you want to weigh yourself? Because I don't need a scale to tell me I need to lose weight. And what are you worried about? What do you mean, what am I worried about? That's what I'm saying. You probably weigh like 130. Uh, the fact Not... that you say I look like I weigh 130. 130 to me is small, though. Whatever. Like... I gained four pounds. Can we have a check, please? <laughs> <laughs> Go lose those four battles. <laughs> <laughs> what is the big deal about the nice. scale? I don't back? understand. But I'm just saying, you need to all get on the scale. But what I'm saying is, if y'all two get on the scale, why Why does it got to be the three stooges on the scale? I mean, but we're all Why three. can't y'all two get on the scale Wait. and we just rock Because we're like, in this we together. Do? Everyone's going to have it right there. If we don't know how much we weigh, we don't know how much we need to lose, and as we're losing weight, we can't keep track of it. So you need to know the number to start at. I mean, that's common sense. You taking off your clothes, You're the one. I'm taking off no my clothes. clothes, yo. I've taken off my clothes before. You just, oh, you oh, just, you just oh, stressy. <laughs> All right, let's go. My prediction is I weigh 140, maybe more. I'm not predicting anything. I ain't predicting nothing, because I ain't even getting on. <laughs> 
I'm not taking my clothes off. I'll take my shoes off. So whatever it is, take your glasses off. <laughs> I'm not getting on the scale, yeah, yo. Are, I'm yeah. not getting on yeah. the We'll sit here all day. <laughs> yo. I'm out of here, yo. <laughs> You see it. We will cover it. And only you see it. That way you know where, where you start, and then you'll know if you're gradually doing better and better and better. Yeah, I just want to do this. No, me, no, so. no. Uh, we'll when, I jump out the, when I jump out the window, it's going to be on y'all. Oh, yeah, you're out the window. Yes. When I, when I, yes, I do. Shut your mouth. Dice is not a person who ever tripped out about scale and numbers, so for her to be acting like this right now, it's throwing me for a loop. Nobody's looking except you. Go. <laughs> I really can't believe you're acting like that. I, I mean, because y'all are small. Y'all can just jump on. You 113, yo. Come on. Like, everybody don't want to jump on the right, scale, look, though. Look. You close your eyes and don't look. I know what I well, weigh. Close your eyes. No, nah, I can look. I know what I weigh. Dice, it's, all, it's not a lot. It's much less than you said. I'm depressed now. Come on, Dice, don't be that way. Dizzle, Dizzle, don't be that way. Now I feel bad. Dice, come on. Look, I have on Alani's bra to make you laugh. <laughs> look, look. Get off of me. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna get y'all back. We love you. <laughs> that really mm. upset you, Dice. Come on, it's not that I'm big of a deal. I'm not upset that I was crying, but I need to lose some weight, though. So that's why we so need we to start know, working we out. We know where we're starting from. I should call to Russell. Keep going. He's the yoga master, Russell Simmons. What if he could teach us? He's like a professional. We would never be able to keep we up. Wouldn't. I'm willing to do whatever, yo. So since now we're on a quest to lose weight, we're going to try a couple different things. And I have the perfect way to cheer Dice up. I'm getting back in my underwear. So what? We need to lose weight. We're fat, fat, fat. <laughs> we'll lose it before you know it. Boxing, body cast, yoga, <laughs> yoga. Let me say yoga. Yoga. Don't <laughs> eat. So your mouth. So your mouth. <laughs> Okay, if I tell you something, are you going to think I'm crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's this thing called the body cast, and it's guaranteed to shrink your waist and make you lose weight. First up on the time to lose weight bitches plan is the body cast. It's a real cast, like a cast you get on your arm, and they put it around your stomach. It shrinks your stomach because your stomach has nowhere to grow. So, I don't know. That's what the body cast is. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Can I have the support of my friend, please? Okay, okay, okay. try it, try it. Call me later. All right, okay, bye. Bye. Ho, oh, Dice. Before the body cast goes on, Dice is extremely uncomfortable. But if I'm doing it, she's doing it. How you shower? I don't know. Well, don't you guys just want to try it? Why do you want to do something Yo, you don't know anything how you wanna about? How you want to do something? And wait, do you know what area she's wrapping up? If she could wrap my whole body, I'm going to let her. Well, oh, so shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm the kind of person I'll try anything. Some of us are very fearful of certain no. things. Cautious is the word. I'll go first. I just want to try it, okay? Now what? Now this is some swimming cream. I'll massage that hand. <laughs> what? Okay, so what you're going to do is hold your hands up. Suck it. As tight as you can. I don't want to be able to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Girls do. Say something to the camera. This is great. <laughs> do hers really tight because she has a lot of weight to lose. <laughs> oh my goodness, wait a minute. As hard as you can. <laughs> she likes it rough. <laughs> can you wrap her mouth next? <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? Don't you feel like sucked in? Uh, uh, it hurt you to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This was amazing. We appreciate it. Bye. Why do you look stiff? Because I am. <laughs> Stop being obvious.
Bobby is straight and gets so far. I am straight. Yeah. This is how I could. This is how I move. Yeah. Dice, this is all you need. Yeah, thank you. Got you. Got it. Not only is Dice uncomfortable with the body cast, we all are. You can't even move. You can't sit down. It's hard as a rock. This thing is coming off. This is crazy. So we're on our quest to a skinnier, sexier, la la poe and dice. Body cast is crazy, and I was able to get in touch with Russell Simmons to have a yoga session. What do you want? I want you to approve these sexy pictures I just took from Mello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all, this is <laughs> Go oh back to that God. other one. Back to that. Ah, you're not going to get a kick out of looking at naked pictures of me. Are you crazy? Well, why are you showing them to us? Anyway. You ever lose this computer, yo, you hit. You're done, done. boy. Oh, yeah. here goes another Google alert. Wait, what happened? I've been getting all these Google alerts and different things just saying how Chauncey Billups, obviously from Denver Nuggets, is pissed that he was included in the mellow trade and his wife is upset and like they're mad at us. People just want to find things to talk about. So this Chauncey Piper versus Mellow Lala thing definitely gives some life to some new rumors. You know, they're from Denver. They don't want to leave and it's all our fault. I think you should reach out. Yeah, I mean, y'all could just go and just, you know, talk, talk woman to woman, yeah. Just to make sure like, right. that's not really her real feelings because like, if it is, like that's not fair to you nor Mellow. Right. It's crazy, this stuff. I've known Russell Simmons for a long time, and he's a mentor to me, and he's also a yoga fanatic. So I knew that Russell would be the perfect person to call. You look nice. How do you feel? Like, I just want to get more, like, in tune. Because it's been so much like going on. Where are you living? We're living in a hotel until oh. we find a place to live. It happened so fast. It's not like we had a house here already or anything. So I just feel like my mind is just in a state of chaos, which is why I thought coming to yoga was a good way to kind of just calm my mind. The first thing I'm going to say is that more than the physical practice is the meditation. Yeah. Say if I said your mantra was rum, 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 say it, rum, 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 rum. If you sit and you're patient, your mind will set. All these practices are so you can control your own life. Maybe yoga will be Dice's thing. It's very low impact, you just have to focus. I think she might like this. Rum. Rum. And dice, not a good match. And actually, yoga and me, not a good match. Right. We appreciate you inviting us. We need more uh, more yoga in our life. Yeah. Uh, the world too fast. Sometimes it is moving too fast. Oh, way way too fast. fast. know for a fact Dice is gonna like boxing. It's the perfect way to let out frustration. It's a real workout. You feel like a badass afterwards. So now we've arrived at the world famous Mendez Boxing Gym and it's time to meet our trainer, Hollywood Hino. Hi. Hi. We're here to see Hino. Who's that? I'm hey. Lala. Oh, Dice. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Hello. We're fat and we need to lose weight. All right, let's go. Doing the ring. Why me? Let's go. Hands up. Let's go. Woo. For all the haters, yeah. for all the secret babies, Dice did great in boxing. She likes it. She feels motivated. This might be her thing.
Since I've been in New York, I get in ten pounds. I don't see it. Crap, you guys been staking in and going all the no, best. New York got the best. Kit -Kat. That's how we say it's my favorite Kit Kat. Oh, get out of here. The chocolate. Oh, <laughs> I'm a Kit Kat. I thought I was like, like a restaurant or something. That's a lot. You eat five Kit Kats a day? <laughs> it's not that I eat a lot. It's just Kit Kat. Yeah, we know. Chocolate. Oh, we married. Are we chocolate. Sexual chocolate. Ah. <laughs> if I was single, I might have gave you a chance. Stop oh, that. Stop that. Stop man. that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had a chance. That's good. So wait, give us your card. Yeah. Boxing has cleared my mind even more than yoga, and now I'm ready to go talk to Piper. Chauncey Billups played with Melo in Denver, and when Melo got traded to the Knicks, Chauncey was included in the trade as well. So a lot of media outlets are trying to stir up some controversy, saying that Chauncey and his wife Piper are mad at us because Chauncey was included in the trade with Melo. I'm here because I want to clear the air. Hey, Piper. How's everything? How are you? I'm good. What you been up to? This is our fifth trade Five in 14 trades. years. Five trades is a lot. Right. And I have to decide if I want to take my girls out of school or I, I don't want to do that. And so my oldest is 13. So do they want to move? They don't want to move. They, they already don't? told me they don't want to move. Wow. So, I don't know how to feel. I would read the stuff about, like, you guys being mad or Chauncey being mad. But what was that whole thing about? I would read the stuff about, like, you guys being mad or Chauncey being mad. But what was that whole thing about? You know, everywhere where I've gone, it's like, are you guys mad at them? And it just threw us off guard because, like I said, we were kind of like, where, how do we get in that? We didn't know. Right. And then we were at home with all our family, and so to see him have to leave, that was hard on me because it's hard on my kids. Right. But Chauncey had a lot of reporters interviewing him, asking him, was he mad and all that. And Chauncey was just like, no, nah, no one has a control over a trade. Right. No one mm -hmm. does. Like, but I didn't want you guys to be mad because we weren't Be nothing there. against the nuggets but they were the ones to ultimately make that decision right. and, and the fact that we just did that with detroit. two years ago from detroit that's hard it's great to talk to piper she's been through five trades so she knows what it's like to get traded and the stress it is on families to have to go through that it's not like he does his thing you do yours like you guys are a we real do everything together unit. We you know are. what i mean and by the way, I love city. Chauncey. I'm always telling him, I wish you would hang out with Chauncey. More. He knows about what it is to be married, have a family. Yeah. For me, like, even just to have a friend who has already experienced it and been in it, because Mel is in the NBA. He's one of the top players. He's traveling. It doesn't mean I don't have the same concerns and thoughts right. like anybody else. Right. But that's not necessarily something you could talk about to someone who might not that be in it. That doesn't understand, right. And I want to get to know you, and we'll just develop a friendship. Right, right. Well, I'm just, I'm just really glad we got to sit down and talk. We'll be fine, and I think, you know, all this happened for a reason, and this could be a positive experience, and that's how I'm taking it. We could have been in, in some black city, right. and we're in New York. I feel so relieved talking to Piper because a lot of misunderstandings happen because people don't talk, and I'm just glad her and I were able to clear the air. And I just think it's good to have a friend who understands what this life is like. It's always good to have another person in a similar situation to talk to. All right, well, okay. I'll see you at the cave. All right. All right, see you later. Next on Lala's Full Court Life. I want to find somewhere to live. What is something like this going for? $18,000 a month. $18,000 a month? I want to find you just a nice guy. I think we should set her up on a blind date, and I got the perfect person. He's coming. You see him, Dice? You see him? Everybody, three push-ups. Let's go. Put the gloves, gloves on the knuckles. Let's go. Put the gloves on on the knuckles. Good. Good. There we go. Real push-ups. Real push-ups. Real push-ups, Poe. There we go. 
Lala Jar Kapi she got stuck. Yeah, I Jar Jar Kapi she got stuck. Look at that. Where's my knees? I'm not used to being on that. You what? You're not used to being wet. Come on, Dad. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. It ain't that type of gym.